to use Q points. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm going to show you how. In this video, I'm going to show you guys not only how to actually set cue points, but why you want to set cue points, when to use them, and then also some really cool tricks that you could use with scratching and doing effects with your cue points. All right, so first I'm going to show you guys how to set cue points really quickly in DJ Pro, like the easiest ways to access it and um, get it through the menu. So we go over here. If you're in classic mode, this is what the app will start on when you reload the app. You go over here to this little um, like forward arrow button, and now you have access to six, actually eight cue points. So to add a cue point, you press one, and now that is a live cue point. You can play it like a drum, or you could use it for when you want to start the song. You have a cue point. Over here, we have the edit button. This is how you can delete cue points. Say you set it at the wrong spot or you wanna just do it a little bit differently, you could delete it like that. Also in this menu, they give you access to slice. This is kinda new, you could like slice up the song a little bit. It's a little bit different than cue points, so I'm gonna make a separate video about it, but that's what you could do. And then also skip. This is very useful if you want to know how many bars or beats are between different parts of the song. So you could automatically skip 32 beats, you could skip 16, so it's at the beginning of the track. And now we know exactly what happens at 16 beats after. It only goes up to, to 64, but then you could just keep pressing it if you want it. And then down here is auto mix. This is, will set the song to start at a specific point and end at a specific point. And this is used in auto mix. So when you have auto mix on, it knows where to mix in and where to mix out. I talk in detail about this in my video on my multiple videos I have on auto mix. So back to the cue points. So the reason why you would set cue points is different for different type of DJs. So one of the ways you could do it is to prepare your songs. So every song in your library should have at least three to four cue points. So you're going to want the cue point to be set. The first one is going to be the beginning of the song. This is where you're going to start the song when you DJ. So if there's like an intro or a part that you don't want to start it, that's at the beginning, make sure you set your cue point at the appropriate spot. So this song right here, it has a little intro thing. I'll play it for a second. And then the song starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my first cue point there. And now that is going to be where a good idea of where we're going to start the song. You could do it at different points. It's not like a set in stone thing, but it's there to guide you. And now another cool thing you could do if you press the edit button here is you could edit the name. So let's just do start. Resume. And now it'll say start there. And the second cue point is going to be where you're gonna want to mix out. So let's go find the spot where it gets a little bit mellow. We'll just do over here. Mix out, rename. So now we have mix in. And then a mix out spot. So we know if we load up this song, at least we know where we're going to mix it in and where we're going to mix it out. So now we have every song in our playlist, we have the start cue point and the end cue point. So anytime we load up a song from one of our playlists, we know a good idea of when to start the song and when to end, this, end the song. This takes a lot of work and it's not the most fun part about DJing. It's a lot of preparation and stuff that you have to do behind the scenes. 
But if you do this, then you will be so much more prepared. And then when it is time to DJ, it'll be so much less stressful and you'll get to enjoy the fun party. So if you're wondering what to do with the other six cue points after you mark all your start and ends, I'm going to show you some really creative ways to use them. Number one is to use them to shorten a song. So EDM songs all have a drop. So there's a build up and a drop. And there's usually multiple of these drops. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a cue point right here at the first drop. So this cue point is the first drop. And these are color coordinated and you can see them on the waveforms and up top when you have the full song with the waveforms. So you don't always have to use them to play stuff or instantly play that beat. You could use them as markers so you know that it's a good point to do something. So when this song hits the first drop, we're going to have a cue point at the second drop. So as soon as at the same time the first drop is playing, we're going to hit the cue point on the second drop. And this is going to speed up the song. So if you want to play a lot of songs in your set or your set's not that long, you could shorten the songs but still play the best parts by doing this drop swap trick. So I'm going to show you really quick. We have our cue point at the first drop, cue point at the second drop. Now we're going to let the intro play. Everything is going to be the same, but as soon as the drop hits the first drop, we're just hitting the cue point on the second drop and the song is going to keep playing and it's going to sound like the song was meant to be like that. So that is a very creative way to use the cue points when you're playing EDM songs. Another really cool way to use cue points is to use them with scratching or make turn them into kind of like a drum pad. So now if we go to the scratch tools that are built into DJ Pro, you just hold in the music button at the right and you do scratch tools. Here is how I set my cue points for this scratch sample set. So over here I did scratch. This is at like 0.1 second into the track. So I could use that if I want to use it like a drum sample like it, like that or I just know where I'm going to want to scratch because that's the point in the song that I use to scratch. The next one is of course ah yeah ah yeah ah yeah so you could put on a beat and then you could use these as like samples or s parts of the song. So I also have yo. So I'm going to put on a beat and show you guys how you would use this with scratching. You could use this with another track or you could use it with a track you made on the looper or it's endless pots possibilities. If you have an instrumental track, you could do that too. So let's set up a beat. So that's a pretty cool example of what you could do. You could also do the same thing with regular tracks that aren't the scratch samples. So over here is a very popular old school hip hop song called Hot In Here by Nelly. I have it sped up a little bit, but it makes it sound cooler, I think. So you find parts in a song where there's a funny saying or something that like everyone knows in the song so like this one oh and then you could use that for scratching like you could go like this and you could also use it if you have another beat going And you could change the BPM in order to make like a more different types of notes with the high pitch and low pitch. So there's so many creative things.
things you could do with the cue points. They're there to help you mark songs and set things up. So don't neglect to use them. Don't be lazy. Don't put it off to another time. If you find a song that you love, you have up to eight spots in the song that you can mark the cue points up. So do at least two, at least know the beginning and end. And if you really like the song, then go and pick out cool parts like that you could add some sample cue points and then pick parts in the song if you want to do the drop swap or whatever you want to do this is like your homework so don't forget to set cue points and if you like these type of videos subscribe to the channel i make new videos every week helping you guys dj with the ipad